In this post, I'm going to show you how to copy a board into schematic in Eagle. It's not as straightforward as it ought to be, uh, but it is getting better. In previous versions, I wasn't able to use the copy tool to copy a board or a schematic, and, and now you can. It'll still crop up with some errors, so I stick with the cut command. Um, so the first thing you need to do is open up the board. This is the one we were doing last time and using the group tool select all of it or at least all of it you want to copy then use the cut tool right click anywhere say cut group and we need a new board so we open up it and we paste it and there you go so you've copied the first one we could have accomplished this with just doing file save as and calling it a new name um, but we want to copy more boards into it, and you do it using the same process. So I'm going to go to this sensor.board. Um, say yes, I want to save it. We'll call it copied board. You also want to open the schematic? Yeah, sure, why not? Same thing. Select it all. Cut it, cut group, come back to open up copied board, it's fine, no orientation will be performed, paste it, and there you go. Now you'll probably want to delete this second set of dimensions, so that's what I'm going to do here, and go ahead and drag this one to the other side of it. And if you wanted to keep the board separate, it wouldn't be a big deal to leave them both on there, but I want to put a trace between them. So let's say that you've been working on these two separate and you want to, again, you want to add a trace. And that's fine. Um, just dragging out my ground plane. That's fine. It'll work. Um, but you can't do it the same way you normally would with the route option. You need to use wire. That'll create a trace that's not based on any signals in a schematic since this one doesn't have a schematic um, and route is based on schematics so we need to do something a little different so I select the the wire tool and adjust my grid size down and we come in here click in the middle of that one go back to the top layer and there we go now when you get here you need to double click so that it'll terminate the trace if you single click it'll keep on going um, and there we go we've we've now connected these two boards we've merged them and, and made a connection between them and that's fine um, it'll complain about a couple of errors uh, there's an overlap error here because it doesn't think that they're supposed to be connected but you can just go ahead and approve those um, there's some drill size errors up here but we'll not worry about those for now. So there you go. But let's say you want to do more than just one or two traces, and let's say you don't want to see those uh, overlap errors. Well, what we can do is copy the schematics as well. And to do that, you do the same process as you did for, um, for the boards. And you need to do it in the same order. So we need to come back here to example. Yes, we want to save copied board. Yes, open the schematic because that's what we're interested in. Come back here. Again, select it all. Cut. Cut group. Come back here to copied board dot schematic. Yes, load the board. And it's going to say, hey, they're not mm -hmm. consistent. And what this message means is that if you add anything on the schematic or on the board, it's not going to do it on the other one. So if we were to put some traces on here after we paste this, those same traces wouldn't show up on the board. Um, so we need to fix any errors before we we try to add anything after we get the other part on here. So we're going to go open up sensor.schematic. Yes, save it. Sure, open up the board. And select it. Cut it. 
going back to our copy board sch yes load the board as well okay so they're still inconsistent that's fine that's what we expect um, so we're gonna paste this guy in and let's see let's throw him in down here so let's go see what our errors are oh they're not consistent they're still not consistent so if we look in here, it's saying that these grounds aren't what they're the, the ground on the board is called or on the schematic is called GND and the ground on the board is called GND1. So we're gonna go look at the board. And if we rename this trace right here, it connects all three of them that it was complaining about. Say okay, call it ground, and there we go. Your rat's nest and our grounds are all connected. Um, if we look at it to see if there's any other errors, doesn't think there are. I'm gonna go ahead and erase this trace and make sure that there still aren't any errors. So now um, it's not complaining about the board being consistent. See, it says the board and schematic are consistent, so we should be able to go in here and add a trace or two. So I'm just gonna bring this side of R1 over to pin three. This is a pin header, connects to a cable. And there we are. Now I can route this trace if I want. So I'm gonna bring it on the top layer. Bring it around. And there we go. That is how you copy a board in a schematic in Eagle. Um, hope this helps. And as always, if you have any questions, comments, or if I'm doing something wrong, please let me know. Uh, I appreciate any feedback I can get.